Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Armor Stand Adjuster plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to customize and edit armor stands really easily. They are highly configurable and you can even attach commands to certain ones as well. So I've got a few here that I've created. This one is a smaller version so you can change the size. This one has a name tag and I was messing around, looks terrible. This one I've changed the name and then these two over here have commands attached. So if I right click this one, it's gonna to turn to night. And if I right click this one, it turns to daytime. So let's go ahead and create one of our own. If we right click to pop an armor stand down and then shift right click the armor stand, it's going to start editing it. Now what you can see is it says now editing left leg because that's what I clicked. If I were to shift right click a different part of the body, you can see it switches between them and you can edit something specifically if you want. Now if you click the wrong thing or cannot click the body part you want, you can shift left click to cycle through them. As you can see, um, there's plenty of options and then on the right it will tell you what you're editing and the different axes. Now each axis is dependent on where you're standing and where you're looking. So if I were to start scrolling my scroll wheel, you can see the leg is going to move in the X axis and you can see on the right, you can make fine adjustments and change it to how you want. If I were to rotate myself 90 degrees and then start using the mouse wheel, you can see the Z axis. And finally, if I look up or down on the ground, this is going to edit the Y axis. So you can put the leg in some really uncomfortable positions like so, but that is how you would do that. Now if we shift left click to cycle through them a little bit more, we can edit the rotation as well, so you can spin them around. And then something really cool is if we shift and then double right click, it's going to bring up a GUI, and this is where you can edit various properties of it. So you can show the arms if you want, so go ahead and click that. You can remove the base plate, you can make it a small arm stand or normal size, you can make it invulnerable, you can turn off gravity, you can make it invisible if you really want and you can show the custom name. Obviously, I haven't set that. You can make it glow, you can make it a marker, and you can lock it so it cannot be edited anymore. And then you can even add commands, which is what I did before. This is super easy. All you need to do is click what you want to do, so add, remove, update, insert. So we're gonna add a command. It's gonna put a complicated string, which is the ID of the armor stand, and then we can do something like weather, rain like so. And once we're happy with it and we don't want to edit it anymore, you can just look elsewhere, left click, and that's going to say you are no longer editing the armor stand. If we right click, uh, that's going to set the weather and apparently it sets it to sun. I did the command wrong. But you get the idea. That is how you would do that. Now there's a couple commands. If you do forward slash armor stand adjuster, you can turn it off so you can no longer edit it. And then obviously you can turn it back on if you want to get editing again. Shift right click and that is going to begin the edit. Now if I were to give myself some armor plates or items, what we can do is shift right click to get the GUI. We can set the equipment locks, so you can lock certain equipment if you want. If we go next door to set equipment, this is where we can drag and drop various items onto the armor stand and then go back and there we go. It's looking uh, pretty pretty wonderful. Finally, down here we can actually create a copy. It's gonna pop it in your inventory. Now you can place as many as you want, create an army of funky looking armor stands that don't really look quite right. And then I guess finally we can jump in here. You can rename your armor stand to whatever you want. And then when you place this one down and turn on the name tag, you can see it will show at the top what the new name is. So that is how you would edit it in-game. You can see it's really intuitive, it works really well, and obviously if you spend a bit of time, you can get a lot better than me at editing these. I was just having a bit of fun messing around with them, but that is how you would do it in-game. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated to 1.20, and if we scroll down, you can see there is a ton of information about how it works. Set it up, you just drag and drop into your plugins folder, and the tutorial here is really handy. It shows you exactly what you need to press and how to edit everything. It's an awesome plugin and I would highly recommend it. You can make cool stuff like this. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.